Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about American Gods, season number one, episode number six, A Murder of Gods. This episode is directed by Adam Kane. And just like a lot of episodes that came before, we get another introduction to another god and how they came to America. And this time we see Mexican Jesus. And Mexican Jesus is played by um, Ernesto Reyes. Now, they mentioned, they mentioned Mexican Jesus in a previous episode, and I didn't, I didn't think they were going to show that story at all. Matter of fact, I didn't think they were going to show any other Jesuses. Maybe, maybe you might get other Jesuses as well, like black Jesus and maybe white Jesus, and, but may, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but this, time, but this time we got to see Mexican Jesus and how he came to America, and all I got to say is he did not have a good welcome. Not at all. See, he came along with other Mexicans sneaking into the, our country. And, well, they got stopped by Border Patrol, and, and it, didn't, it didn't end in a happy way. I mean, he came in just like Jesus walking on water and everything. It's just, oh, my goodness. And then the, he had a light shining around his head. You think, oh, my goodness, everything, everything, I guess everything's going to turn out well. And then got some people, some guys came. I guess he probably watches the border or whatever they do. Or, and they decided to shoot all the Mexicans. They shot them all. And Jesus sacrificed himself to save some other, to save a little fam, save a family. And then, well, he died. Yeah. It wasn't pretty. But like hopefully like other Jesuses, in three days he comes back again. Hopefully. I mean he, he didn't get he he wasn't buried in the tomb. He was left dead on the on the on the ground. Which was very sad. So like this. But that's how he came to America. Yeah. Messed up, but that's that, that that's his story. So then we cut we cut to back to Shadow Moon and Mr. Wednesday. And they're still on their journey because they they want to run from the new gods after their last meeting. And, and Shadow's having a bad day because he has some trees stuck inside of him and it's giving him a little bit of a fit. Now, the thing is though, Shadow's seeing all this stuff that's going on around him. All this weird, magical thing, all this supernatural stuff. But yet he's still not on board yet. He's still not, he's still not believing. I don't know when he's going to finally wake up. Because, see, after I thought something, something so miraculous like this... I'll be on board. I'll be on board. I'll be on board. I say, okay, you're not human. I know, I know that for sure. You must be some type of supernatural being, maybe you're a god or something. I don't know what kind of god you are, but you gotta be something. Now, I don't know why you want me, because I, I'm pretty sure Shadow's a god too, or some sort. I'm not sure what he is yet, but he's something. Because it has to be a reason why Mr. Wednesday won him so badly. Has to be a reason, and he did make us know. So, so there's something special about him. What it is, I don't know. Is he a demigod? Is he just a pure god? Is he an angel? I don't know. What, what whatever he is, he's something. And Mr. Wednesday want, want, wants him, and he has him on his side. Shadow's still not sure what exactly was going on because the thing is though, he's seeing. It's it just weird. It, it, it'd, be, it'd be different if he wasn't seeing it, but he's actually seeing it, and he's still having trouble to believe in it. Which is really messed up. I like, do get on board. How much proof do you need? You had a tree and a branch growing inside you. What else? It's actually, it, it, it touched you. You saw your dead wife and you kissed her. Nothing yet? I mean, you should have just, okay. I'm in. How much proof do you need? You, you're, you're seeing it, you're tasting it, and you're touching it. You're smelling it too. You, you got all, all your senses are telling you that it's real. And yet, his, but he still want, he, he still, he, he's still like this. This can't be real. This can't be real. Is this a dream? Is this a Mr. Wednesday? What is this? Is this real? Mr. Wednesday, not, the thing is though, what makes it worse is Mr. Wednesday is not really telling him exactly that it's real, but he also is not telling him that it's not real at the same time too. So he so you give him an answer, but not an answer. So 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 so, so, you, so you got Shadow who's want to not believing, but kind of wants to believe, but not sure he should believe. So so you just I don't know what to do with that. Yeah. And so they're on their journey to meet. Mr. Win one of Mr. Wendy's old friends. Now, a lot of the old gods are having a lot, a lot of trouble fading away. Or, and so, but you have this one god, Vulcan, 
God of the Fire, God of the Forge, who pretty much is Hephaestus. So he he he's doing well. See, he managed to um, change his brand to something that people love. And know what people love right now? Guns. Yeah. Every, and he, he pretty much said it. He's taking full advantage of that. He's making guns for people who feel as though they need them. And he's making guns for people who, who shoots up movie theaters. And, the, and to him, that's a sacrifice to him. And he's, he's and he still feels like though, and he feels great from this. Every time somebody does, does a shooting, that's praise to him. Every time some, and then after that, after a shooting happens, people feel as though they need to get buy, buy more guns. So then he makes more guns, and so he gets more praise. So he's he, to him, he's feeling fantastic. So Mr. Wednesday comes to him saying, "Hey, we need you on our side to stop these um." new guys from taking over there's a, a war coming and we, I want you by my side he, he's saying dude I'm good I don't need to be part of this little war you got going on with the new guys I'm fine so that's a you problem not a me problem yeah and so you have Mr. Wednesday and Vulcan they have a little bit of a disagreement here yeah a little disagreement then you have what's going on with Laura Moon, Shadow's dead wife. And she, 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 she's pretty much with Matt Sweeney, who she, so who she thought she left, left behind, but by some, so, but some, but some, but some twist of fate, they're still working together. And while they're on their journey, they meet Celine. And he's pretty much their, their, their ride because uh, um, Matt Sweeney wants to take um, Laura to Kentucky. Because he knows that he knows a god there who could take out her coin and then bring her back to life, so he could get his luck back and she get her life back. And I like that, and I, and I really do like their relationship because he hates her with a passion, because she has something he wants and he needs, but she's not giving it to him, and she hates him because she thinks because well, she just thinks he's annoying. So they hate each other. And, and the thing is, though, I like how he refers to her as dead wife. He doesn't call her by her name. He just calls her dead wife all the time, dead wife all the time. Or an, another word, he calls it that too. And the fact, the way he just puts her down constantly. and she, cause, Because she feels as though she, she has her, a chance back to get Shadow back. That's her main goal. Because now she, she's Shadow, she's all this light around him, and she thinks she's in love. I don't know if she actually is in love with Shadow or not. I'm still not quite sure on that part. But she convinced herself she's in love with Shadow. And she wants to be with Shadow. And she really has another second chance with Shadow. But Shadow has his own mission going on. And so she's trying to win him back, I guess, some type of way. But she's dead. She's not alive. The only reason why she's still walking around is because she got that coin inside of her. So, Matt Sweeney wants his coin back. And he wants her, so he said, you know what, I'm, I, I know a guy who will bring you back, you be, you be resurrected, and I get my coin back. Deal, deal. So they, so they had their own little journey going on right there too. So you got two people, you got Shadow on his journey with Mr. Wednesday, and then you have Laura Moon, his dead wife, on her, on her journey with, with um, Matt Sweeney. And the weird part is, even she's still having trouble believing everything that's going on. Which is also strange. Chick, you came back from the dead. You met, and I think, but I think she's a little bit more accepting than Shadow is. But she's, I, I'm, I'm still not quite sure she's still quite on board either. Which I also think is kind of weird. Yeah. Interesting episode. Yeah. We, found a guy, we saw some God on God action. It didn't end well, but we saw some of that. It's it's funny that the new gods that he that Mr. Wednesday met wanted to work with him and help him out, but the old god who he met this episode, who he knew and was friends with, betrayed them, and in and in the fighting one another. Interesting. It makes you think that maybe Mr. Wednesday should try working with the new gods. It might work out better for him. Maybe, maybe not. 
But the show is coming to an end pretty soon, so I'm not so sure how it's going to wrap up. And I'm not so sure if they're actually going to explain what Shadow actually is and why he's important to Mr. Wednesday in this season. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But so far, I am enjoying the show. I'm, in, I'm enjoying where it's going. I'm enjoying all the new, all the guys that we're meeting along the way on this journey. I find it interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to... Is it going to end, end with the war? I don't know. I do not know. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of American Gods. If you have any like, thoughts or theories about where you think this show is going to end up. Do you actually know what Shadow actually is? And how important he is? Did you feel sorry for Mexican Jesus? I sure did. Leave your comments down below. And I wonder, since they, since they show Mexican Jesus, would they show black Jesus? Would they show white Jesus? Or all the other Jesuses? Or all the Jesuses combined and form Voltron? I don't know. Maybe, maybe or not. I have no idea. Because since there's more than one Jesus, different versions of them, will they, do, they, do they work together? Do they, do they know of each other? Do they get along? That'd be interesting. I'd be interested to see that, like all the Jesus, all the Jesus, all the Jesuses, the Jesuses, Jesus, the Jesus eyes. I don't know. All the Jesus, all the Jesuses together, and see how they interact with one another, and how their philosophies is exactly the same or is it slightly different because their circumstances where they come from. I'd be interested to watch. It may happen, may not happen. I don't know. Well, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, mm, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would do appreciate it. It's like I always say in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out, a people.